Today I'm going to set up uh, my Hornady lock and load reloader for 9mm uh, pistol rounds. So the order of the dies that we're going to install today are going to be the um, full length sizer, the expander die, then this is the automatic powder uh, charge die, this is a powder cop die to check the level, and then the bullet seating die. We simply lock and load in each of the dies, so slip it in and twist. There's the first die, which is the full length sizer. The expander die. The pistol power sleeve of this unit is essentially the number 20. You simply disconnect the spring, loosen this, uh, disconnect this. This pulls out the assembly. And then that right there is the number 20 uh, pistol power sleeve. The powder bushings are the uh, tallest is the number 20 for the pistol. Number 19 is the middle one uh, for 20 to 270 caliber. And the third shortest is for 7 mil to 45 caliber rifle. This is the small pistol rotary assembly. And this is the normal size rotary assembly. This is essentially for all pistol rounds. This is for everything else. The automatic powder. The powder cop that should have this uh, come right up to the top of this when it's uh, correct. And finally, the bullet seating guide. For 9 mil, we run shell plate 8. Here's the recipe I'm running today. Next are the priming, uh, the prime rods. So this is the rods that's going to hold the primer. This thing goes down in the bottom. This will then get threaded over it. And then this is the plunger that sits down to press them essentially with weight through into the primer feed hole. It also has a black uh, piece of tape on the top to let me know when I'm out of primers. Okay, to get the primers in, I basically uh, put half the primers out, flip on the primer box, uh, the little primer tray, flip it over, give it a little jiggle, out they come. What you do is you can lightly spin this and the edges of the tray should get them all pointed in a, a general uh, upright direction. Once they're all there, simply put on the lid of the primer tray, flip it over, and then they're all upright in this direction so that you can then run the little tube and press right onto them to load up the assembly and you just keep uh, pressing them into order. Primers are picked up with this tip. Insert it on the top of the assembly and then pull the pull pin for them to load into the priming tube unit. 